Let's explore the ninth house of the zodiac, which is commonly known as the house of philosophy or the house of higher learning. The ninth house. After the intense and transformative themes of the eighth house, the ninth house opens our eyes to a broader horizon. It is a realm of exploration, both physically through travel and mentally through education and philosophical pursuits. As T.S. Eliot once said, We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Historically, this house is connected with journeys, both those that take us across the world and those that elevate our spirit and mind. Now, for a sign trait, Sagittarius, ruled by Jupiter. Synchronizing with the ninth house, Sagittarius manifests the following five characteristics. 1. Adventurous. Sagittarians have an innate wanderlust and a thirst for exploration. 2. Philosophical. They often find themselves pondering the deeper meanings of life and are naturally inclined towards philosophy. 3. Optimistic. Ruled by expansive Jupiter, they possess a hopeful and positive outlook on life. 4. Truth seekers. They value honesty and are constantly in search of truth, both in the external world and within themselves. 5. Freedom loving. Sagittarians treasure their freedom and are often wary of confinement, be it physical or ideological. Now that we've covered the sign traits, let's check out the major concepts related to the ninth house, higher education and philosophy. This house governs our higher educational pursuits, be it formal education like universities or informal learning. It's also a space for philosophical ponderings, theological studies, and the exploration of ethics and morality, travel and exploration. The ninth house oversees long distance travel and journeys that expose one to different cultures and worldviews. These journeys can be physical travels or metaphorical journeys of the mind and spirit, religion and spirituality. It delves into our spiritual beliefs, our connection with the divine, and our understanding of the greater universe. This house governs organized religion, but also individual spiritual quests and beliefs. If you're still watching at this point, let me pause for a quick moment to thank you for joining us. I hope you are finding our content both educational and entertaining. If you do, be sure to subscribe if you haven't, because there is a lot more to come. It's going to literally take years to create the content that we have in our mind's eye. Now, here are some additional insights on the ninth house, publishing and broadcasting. Given its association with spreading knowledge, this house also rules over publishing, broadcasting, and other mediums that disseminate information to a broad audience. Foreign cultures. The ninth house is tied to our interactions with foreign cultures, languages, and global affairs. Legal system. On a more concrete level, this house is also connected to law and the justice system, especially higher courts and legal decisions that are based on philosophical or ethical principles. Planetary influence. Planets in the ninth house can influence how one interacts with the house's themes. For example, Mars might drive a person towards adventurous travels or passionate debates in philosophy while Neptune might inspire spiritual quests or an interest in mysticism. Life purpose. Given its expansive nature, this house can provide clues about an individual's broader life purpose or mission. So to put all of this into perspective, the ninth house serves as a beacon for expansion, exploration, and the quest for higher knowledge. It encourages us to look beyond our immediate surroundings challenging our preconceptions and expanding our worldview, whether it's through academic pursuits, spiritual quests, or physical travels. This house beckons us to embrace the unknown and to seek understanding. As with every house, it's essential to consider the ninth house in the broader context of the entire chart to gain a holistic and nuanced understanding of its significance.
You can get your birth chart by following the link at the top of the description. You'll learn a bit more about the ninth house's influence in your life along with that of all of the other houses. Hang out with us as we journey through the rest of the houses of the Zodiac on this channel. And be sure to check out the growing library of content that we've already posted. Until next time, take care. And as always, thanks for stopping by.